so yesterday we talk about distribution uh, topic in which we include the shipping and transportation so let us recap what we discussed yesterday so yesterday when we started this uh, new topic then we also discussed few concepts we talked about a different uh, configuration in sap so we first and foremost we talked about shipping point so we discussed and we talked about shipping point and uh, what is shipping point how the shipping point get determined so we discussed that configuration and we talked about shipping points get determined on the basis of three parameters which is the uh, loading point uh, delivering plant which come from sales order line item shipping condition which come from customer master and the loading point that come from material master <laughs> we also talked about that shipping point is mandatory shipping point is mandatory for creating delivery document so we talked about that as well that what is the shipping point and it is mandatory so when you create uh, <coughs> sorry so when we create a delivery document shipping point is mandatory we must have a shipping point in sap so presence of shipping point is mandatory okay so that was another point which we discussed yesterday means you cannot create a delivery document without having a shipping point shipping point is unique that basically means in the entire in the entire delivery document you will have only one shipping point so only one shipping point you will have then we talked about uh, customer requested delivery date that how the system determine customer requested delivery date we look at the configuration that in the sales document type so we have a uh, uh uh customer requested delivery date which comes from sales document type configuration okay so that is the one uh, uh configuration uh, which we looked at it yesterday so that was another configuration which we looked at it yesterday in the last period yes class yesterday that from the configuration of sales document type we take a delivery okay then uh, we also talked about um backward scheduling and forward scheduling okay so backward scheduling and forward scheduling concept we talked about in case of backward scheduling um we can have a customer back date uh, from the delivery date so system determine you know your availability date etc so that is the uh, we talked about uh, backward scheduling and we also talked about something called forwarding scheduling so we discuss both concepts for so forward scheduling and also backward scheduling so how does both works and uh, another thing which we discussed yesterday and we did exercise was related to complete delivery so many time for certain customers we need to give a complete delivery by the law <clears throat> so there is a, some kind of a <clears throat> contractual agreements to certain customers that they only want 
complete delivery and they don't accept partial delivery. So we saw that yesterday in the customer master, there is a field and if that field is on, then system does uh, complete delivery and only complete delivery or full delivery is allowed. Okay. Um, so we talked about complete delivery. We talked about also the next extra which we did was related to partial delivery. Partial delivery basically means that for one sales order, you can have multiple deliveries. Now, possibility of the multiple deliveries for one sales order is commonly happens. Yeah. It's a very common situation where you will see that that for one sales order, partial deliveries are allowed. And that normally is there in the system by default. Okay. So we talked the complete delivery, we did exercise for that. We did a partial delivery, we did exercise for that. And then <clears throat> we talked about sales order con combination. Sales order combination basically means combining multiple sales order into one delivery. So combining multiple sales order into one delivery, that is also we have discussed. Now, what is that basically means? Multiple deliveries into uh, multiple sales orders into one delivery is only possible if the sales order has the same ship to party, it has the same shipping point, route, date, etc. So if those parameters are similar, if those parameters are same, then in those cases, you can combine multiple sales orders into one delivery. Okay. We also briefly discussed that uh, there is something called GTS, Global Trade Services. GTS is a name of a separate product. It's a completely separate product. It is SAP's product. And this product basically allows us to do various other uh, global paid services functions. Okay. Um, so that is where we can do different transaction. Okay. Then we talk about sales document structure. So we talked about in the sales document, the sales document structure that uh, you have a header data, you have a line item data. Um, and then header data is controlled by document type. We saw LF. And we also saw a configuration that how LF get determined. So when I'm creating a delivery, and the delivery document type, a standard delivery document type is LF. Then how does the system determine LF? From where does LF come from? Okay. So LF get determined from the sales document type configuration. So from the sales document type configuration, system automatically determine document type LF. We looked at that configuration also yesterday. Then uh, we talked about uh, delivery line item configuration in which we talked about that, how the system get item category. Item category we saw in the SAP system come from sales order, okay? Normally that is what it happened. And from the sales order, we also saw the system copies many other different data. So most of the data which is there in the delivery, it automatically comes from sales order. For example, ship to party, material, quantity, weight, volume, and many other things. Shipping point, route is there. So all these different uh, fields which you see in the delivery document, these documents, this information come from sales order into delivery. Okay, so that is what the delivery document structure is about. And uh, this is what 
the exercise we have done so far and that is what we have discussed so far okay so any question whatever we have discussed okay so let me tell you one thing though in a sap there is a s d module in most cases d is more important than s so i have seen that a uh, lot of people end up getting job because of d which is this division so if i see my past uh, historical data then i see that lot of people end up getting job because of the distribution okay so d for distribution is important this pdf which i am doing from the job perspective is very very important normally i have done you know if i see the whole situation 60 70% people they get job because of distribution so distribution is two third of the job situation yeah and the reason for that probably is that us is a big country is a geographically very large so the shipping transportation all these logistic processes warehousing become very very important okay so that is what this basically means yes there is a availability check in the last years in this pdf open pdf in this pdf we have availability check and all um so this pdf is important from that perspective this is where we left yesterday so there is something called copy control make a note of that button called copy control copy control is there at multiple places copy control is there in sales order copy control is there in delivery copy control is there in billing so copy control will appear in many many places why many places because each document is created with each other so if you are creating a quotation with the sales order with reference to a quotation then between quotation and sales order there has to be copy control if i am creating a delivery with reference to if i am creating a delivery with reference to a sales order then between sales order and delivery there has to be copy control if i am creating a billing document with reference to delivery then between delivery and billing there has to be a copy control so that is where all these different copy control come into the picture okay so that is what that is where the copy control is being changed referred at multiple places copy control is defined at the header level at the line item level at the schedule line level that basically means if you want to copy header data you need a header copy control if you need a line item data you need a line item control if you need a schedule line data you need a schedule line control now delivery document what is this basically means 
So look at this picture here. Item category is copied into delivery from the sales order. So when we are doing a delivery document, so the item category in the delivery document get copied from sales order. So from sales order, it get copied into delivery document. So that is what actually happens. Okay. So that is what actually happens. Now, you can also take a note of this. Deliveries without preceding a sales order. So you can create a delivery document with reference to sales order, but sometime in case of urgencies, there could be some urgencies. And if you have an urgency and if you need to deliver the product on an urgent basis to the customer and you cannot wait for sales order, sales staff is not there, office is closed, but we need to send the material. Then SAP also allows us to create deliveries without having a sales order document. And that is document type LO. That is the document type LO. Okay. Document as LO is basically creating a delivery without sales order. How do we do that? Okay, let's do this exercise. So create delivery without sales order. It should not be the common occurrence, but in case of emergencies, in case of urgencies, in case we can have such situations and such scenarios. Okay, so create sales order, create delivery without sales order. Okay, and for that, doc type, doc type equals to LO. Make a note of it. So doc type equals to LO. Make a note of it. Now, how do we do that? So we go to logistic. We go to logistic execution. A lot of these transactions we go here are also available here as well, yeah, in the shipping and transportation. So a lot of these shipping transport uh, transactions is available here and also they are available there as well, right? So it's a kind of a common. So here I go to outbound process, good issue for outbound delivery. I create outbound delivery, then create single document. And this is what we have been using all along, which is VL01N, and then we have one transaction between below that that is called VL01NO. That is, if we want to create a delivery without sales order.
ओके सो द ट्रांजेक्शन को इज वी एल जीरो वन एन ओ and then we hit enter now here you have to enter all, all the information so we go to shipping point 1000 delivery document type lo sales organization 1000 distribution at 10 division 00 now you have to enter all that information because you are not copying it from sales order so because you are not copying from sales order therefore all that information come you have to enter manually okay hit enter i enter my custom uh, ship to party enter the good issue date when we want to do it so i want to do it today enter the material so we can use the same material which is 30656 30656 we can enter the quantity enter hit enter and then we hit save see the message in the bottom delivery without reference 8001735 3 has been checked so we have created delivery without reference this is the name of the delivery this is the number of delivery So we learn how to create a delivery document without sales order. Okay. Now the next step is picking. So so far we created delivery. We created delivery with reference to sales order, without reference to sales order. we also created delivery with the collective processing in the background yesterday with the transaction code we are 10g now we are talking about the picking next step is the picking okay what is the picking so make a note of that 1 2 3 3 lines so make a note of these three lines which i highlighted those three lines tells us what is the picking process picking is what picking is basically when you are sending the material to the customer so you need to pick that material from the warehouse so you need to pick that material from the warehouse and that process is called picking you have to somebody has to go into the warehouse go to the bin go to the store and pick up the material and then prepare that material for the shipment but before somebody can pick up the material for the shipment we need to pick the material okay 
So that is why what we can do as a part of picking. So you can print the pick list. Now, what is a pick list? Pick list basically means that uh, when the warehouse person going to pick the material, then he can have he can have different document pick list because he can go and pick multiple material, you know, on not only one delivery. He can go and pick up multiple delivery, delivery one, delivery two, delivery three. And then that you can do by creating a pick list. Pick list is normally a printed output which a picker can have with him. Then monitoring the status of the picking of the item. So that basically means whether the item has been picked or not picked. When you pick up the item, then the system keep track of the picking status. You can also do single and collective picking. Single and collective picking. Single basically means one document at a time. And collective basically means you can pick multiple items and now there is also a term here called wave pick there is also one term which you see here that is called wave pick so what is the wave pick wave pick basically means when you're picking up multiple deliveries and you're picking in the multiple frequencies you're going to pick at eight o'clock then you're going to pick up 10 o'clock, then you're going to pick 12 o'clock, then you're going to pick 2 o'clock. So there's a frequency every 2 hour, every 3 hour, every 4 hour or whatever. So that is called wave pick. Now another thing is called picking is carried out from a store location. So when you're doing the picking, the picking is done from a store location. So you have to define that yes, when you're doing the picking, you're doing the picking from a particular storage location. And only from that store location, you will be picking the material. Okay. So you can have picking is carried out from a particular storage location. So you can only pick up the material from that location and from that store. Okay. Now another thing here is called picking pick store location determination. So when you do the pick, then you're doing picking from a store location. So if you go to a delivery document, in the line item, you can have a if you go to picking tab here, there is a store location. A store location is mandatory. So when you do the picking, you do picking from a store location. Now, how does this store location get come, get determined? How the system knows which store location I should go and pick the material from? Because I might have a multiple store location. Within the one plant also, I might have multiple store locations. So how system knows to select which storage location? And for that, we have certain rules. And now where is that, where are those rules? So for that, we exit out. We go to configuration, SVRO. Then we go to SAP reference IMG. Then we go to logistic execution. Then we go to shipping. And in the shipping, we have something called picking. 
and here we have determine picking location okay. make a note of this menu path and we have assign picking locations picking location basically means a storage location so this is where the configuration for the picking location is determined okay So here we have assigned picking location, make a note of the menu path. Where is this menu path? It is part of logic execution, shipping, picking, determine picking location, and then assign picking location. Then I click on it. Now here, we have three fields, shipping point, plant, and storage condition. That is what you see here, delivery plant, shipping point, storage condition. Delivery plant come from sales order line item. How the system determine plant? From the sales order line item. How the system determines shipping point? Shipping point comes from sales order line item. The storage condition comes from material master. In the material master, we have a storage condition. So there is a field in the material master in this in a store view where you can have a storage. So that is what system see here if I go to position if let us say my plant is 1000 if my shipping point is 1000 so this is what is going on so because of this entry I get in my store location 001 so in my delivery document my store location was 001 right why it was because of this entry in the configuration where we say shipping point shipping point is 1000 delivering plant is 1000 storage condition is blank and for that we have a store location equals to 001 okay so we can have all that in the system so that is what we this is what we configuration we have in SAP system. Okay. Make a note of that. Okay. So shipping point 1000, delivery plan 1000, shipping conditions blank, and the store location is 000. So this is the configuration. Sometimes people can ask for this kind of configuration. So make a note of it. So these are some of the configuration which are there in the SAP system. So we talked about, we looked at the configuration and the configuration is how is store loc get determined in delivery line items based on following three parameters. Make a note of it. This is interview question. What are those three parameters? Delivery plant. How the system read delivery plant? System read delivery plant from 
sales order line item. So go to sales order line item, we reach from there. Then it is a shipping point. Now how the shipping point goes? Shipping goes again from sales order line item. And then we have something called shipping condition. And shipping condition is a field in material master in storage location view. So in the store location view, we have that field. And the, from that field, system determine. So make a note of it. This is the configuration. That is what we see here. Okay. System red would pickle. Okay, so how do we do the picking? Okay. So we're gonna do picking. So we're gonna do picking. So we want to do an exercise. So we want to do picking exercise at store location level. Make a note without WM, without warehouse management. There are two different ways of doing picking. One with the, without warehouse management and one with warehouse management. <clears throat> so what are we talking about here is how do we do the picking at its location without warehouse management? Without warehouse management. With warehouse management is a complete different process. That is our next topic. So picking is done in two different ways. With WM, without WM. Now what we are doing is without WM. Okay. So and there is a difference here. So we're going to create a sales order. So we're going to create a sales order. Transaction code VA01. Okay. So transaction code VA01. Then we have a create delivery with sales order. And I want to do collective processing. You can do single processing also, but I want to do collective processing in foreground. Yesterday, we did a collective processing in the background. I want to do collective processing in foreground. VL10G. Okay. Then we want to do picking. Okay. So then we want to do picking. Make a note of these steps. This is our exercise. Okay. So this is our exercise. Let's create a sales order. Regular sales order. The sales order is the same sales order which you've done many, many, many times. There is nothing different, nothing unique in the sales order. Or type OR, sales order 1000, distribution channel 10, division 00. We enter the customer. Enter the purchase order number. Enter the material. And then enter the quantity. It's a regular sales order. 
and nothing different and unique about this SSR. Edit in completion log and then we save it. So sales order has been checked. Now I make a note of the sales order. Now I want to create a delivery with reference to sales order collective processing in four gram. Transaction code VL10G. Okay. Now how do we do that? So we go to delivery, create. And I want to do collective processing. VL10G. Now, if you see, there are different transactions. You know, VL10, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Right? Why there are different transactions? Because each transaction has a different selection criteria. Some sales order, some purchase order, some both. So, because of those different uh, selection criteria, we have all these multiple transaction codes in SAP. So, for example, we go to VL10G. In VL10G, um, I can uh, shipping point. I can put uh, up to maximum number of days. I put my uh, customer, so I only get uh, for that customer only. Otherwise, I get too many sales orders. Uh, I don't want any delivery block. And then if I only want one sales order, I can enter the sales order number also. But I want all of them. Let's see. And we execute. So all the sales order comes up. This is the sales order which we created today. So this is green. And this is sales order 16389. So we have sales order 16689. So this sales order appear here. Now we have two options. One is a dialogue. One is a, back, uh, a background. So we used yesterday background. Today we want to do dialogue. Dialogue basically means we want to do in foreground. So we select dialogue. Okay. So we go to dialogue. And when we go to dialogue, it takes you to the delivery. And then we can create a delivery document. So here. And then we hit save. So see the message at the bottom, delivery 8001735 has been created. <clears throat> so we got the delivery created. Go back, go back. And uh, if I go to the change delivery mode, so this is my delivery document. So this is a delivery document which is created. If I want to do the document flow, I can check document flow. So this is my sales order, 16389. This is the document. Okay. And I make a note of the document. So we created delivery. Now this was an example of creating delivery in a with the sales order and uh, in the foreground. Okay. I come out of it. Now, we close all these windows. Now here we have a picking. Now here in the picking, if you see the different things, you know, create transfer order, display transfer order. How to create transfer order and all that, and how do we use it? That is our next exercise. So here we have a create transfer order, you know, collective processing transfer order. So all these different transaction codes are there. And what is transfer order? That is our next topic. 
and we're going to talk about this thing called transfer order. Okay. So we go to uh, buy a R1 delivery monitor. So this is a buy a R1 delivery monitor. Here I can put my shipping point. So put my shipping point. Okay. And at the shipping point, I can put my uh, picking from this date to this date. I can put my other selection parameters. And I hit execute. So these are the different deliveries which we have. So what we are doing is we are doing picking using outbound delivery monitor. Okay. We have a delivery document number 354. This is 354 in the bottom. Where it is? Buyer outbound delivery monitor. Okay. Now in the outbound delivery monitor, I go to VL06P. Now I'm using this transition code. I enter shipping point 1000 from this date to this date, and I hit execute. So how many deliveries are there which I'm supposed to pick? So here what happens is, now think from the real world perspective. Now I put one delivery, then I go and do this. But in the real world, I might have many, many deliveries. I have many, many people. Now how do I know how many deliveries I have, or I don't have it, how many deliveries have been created? So I'm a warehouse person. My job is to create delivery document. Now here, we make a note of the delivery document on the paper. But obviously, this is not the way it will work in the real world. Right? So that is why a lot of people will use something called, and see that here. If you look at it here, it says, day's workload for the picking. So if I'm a warehouse person, I will run this transaction, I will get all my deliveries. And then, I know what I'm supposed to do. This is my day's workload for picking. So I'm supposed to work on these deliveries. I open that. And then this is the one at the bottom which we created today. So we select that. Now here we have something called TO in foreground and DO in foreground. <coughs> transfer order. Now the, how to create this transfer order and all that, that uh, we don't know yet. We have not created transfer yet. We're gonna, that is what we're going to do next. Okay. So we're going to create this transfer order next. We are not doing that right now. So we'll leave it outside. And um, and then we go to item overview. So we go to item overview. I select that. And I go back to change mode. Then it takes to the delivery. And I do the picking. I put the pick quantity. I hit enter, and the moment I do that, picking is done, and I save. See the message in the bottom. Message in the bottom, delivery has been saved. And this becomes different color. So 800354, this is highlighted because this picking has been done. And there's a refresh button. If I refresh, then that 354 is gone because that delivery has been picked. So that delivery is not part of open delivery for the picking. So what we did, we created delivery picking using outbound delivery monitor. So that is the picking exercise which we did. And this is the transaction code here, VL06P. V L zero six P. Okay. So make a note of this. V 
background and foreground background we see what is going on and then foreground we see what is going on it in front of us background we don't see it just created so that is the difference okay so picking exercise now we go to the next topic and the next topic is how do we create picking with the transfer order so we are talking about warehouse picking bid wm so how do we do warehouse management and how do we do the picking bid warehouse management make a note of that student which i highlighted transfer orders are used in sap wm so what happens if we are using warehouse management so we see here and if you go if we close this and here we have a warehouse management warehouse management is a separate module by itself so how we will do the picking if we are using warehouse management if we do the picking if you are using warehouse management process for that is to use a transfer order see here so there is a transfer order transfer order is a central document in sap wm and this document is used this document is used to create the picking so we create a transfer order based upon transfer order we move the goods and when the picking is done then we confirm transfer order so transfer order is the central document in sap warehouse management which is used for the purpose of picking okay that is what this basically means so how do we do that so let us do this exercise so what do we want to do so we did the picking now we want to do another picking so i want to do picking exercise bid warehouse management bid warehouse management okay so this one was without warehouse management this is bid warehouse management so how do we do that so what we going to do we going to create material bid wm views so that is the first thing we going to do transaction code mm01 then we need to create a stock in wm because that is a prerequisite because unless i have a stock in wm i cannot sell it so we need to have a prereq where we create a stock in wm creating a stock in wm we go to migo moment i501 then uh, create transfer order bid then uh, confirm transfer order that is lt12 
then we verify its stock in W. That is transaction code LS24. Then we create sales order. Then we create delivery. Then create we want to perform picking and for that we want to create transfer order with reference to delivery doc then confirm transfer order then verify picking is status create transfer order and then verify picking status so this is our exercise This is our end-to-end -end exercise integrating with the warehouse management. Configure and handle product labeling. Means there is nothing to configure. It's basically a functional specification writing is output. So we have a, now. 10 minutes break and uh, after the break we're going to do this exercise so 10 minute break and after 10 minutes we'll talk about it. so <clears throat> we are doing picking exercise with the warehouse management <clears throat> so that is our exercise we're going to create a material with the w views transition code mm01 then we'll create a stock and uh, then in which we're going to create a MIGO, we're going to create a transfer order, and uh, we're going to confirm transfer order, ver verify stock uh, in WM, transaction code LS24. We're going to create a sales order as we keep creating, we're going to create de delivery, <clears throat> and um, so we're going to do that as well. Then we're going to verify picking a status. Um, how can we confirm the picking? How can we create a transfer order with reference to delivery document? <clears throat> and then we are verifying the picking status multiple times. Um, you know, we are verifying here. We are verifying here. The reason <clears throat> for verifying multiple times because the status changes as we go along. Okay. So that is why we're going to verify the status uh, multiple times. Okay. Um, now let's create a material with the WM views. <coughs> so we go to MM01 and then we enter, finish good, uh, hit enter. <coughs> now we're going to select basic data one, sales of data one. Sales of data two, sales general plan data. This is as we have been selecting before. Um, we're going to select storage one, warehouse one, warehouse two. These two views are new because we are creating a integration with the warehouse. 
So we are selecting warehouse one and warehouse two view and accounting one, and then we hit enter. Plant, we're going to use 1000. Store location, we're going to use 0088. <clears throat> now, why 0088? Because 0088 is a store location which is connected to warehouse. Then we have a store location 1000, distribution channel 10, and warehouse number 001, and the storage type 001. Okay? So these are the organization labels which we're going to use. Okay? So make a note of that, please. So plant 1000, store location 0088, sales organic 1000, digital channel 10, warehouse number 001, and storage type 001. <coughs> So make a note of these organization units. Then we hit enter. Then we hit enter. Then uh, this is our um, sales WM material. Venter use base or measure, metal group, net weight, gross weight, hit enter. Okay. Then we have a text classification. Hit enter. Then we have a transportation group 001, loading group 001. We are not entering anything on the storage view. We are not entering anything on the warehouse view. We are not entering anything on the warehouse two views. So those three views we have, but we didn't enter any single value. And then accounting, we enter the valuation class, and then we enter the standard price. We save it. See the message in the bottom? Material 30734 has been created. Okay, so we make a note of the material. We create a material. Now this material has sales view also and uh, WM view also. And after that, we go to materials manage, we do the MIGO. Movement type 501, quantity, say 1000 pieces or whatever. 
in the material we enter the material which is as created in the plant we enter 1000 histolocation we enter 0 0.8 hit check in check we've got a green light and then we save button okay So material document five zero zero six three eight has been posted. Now we hit enter. Now we are creating a transfer order. Enter put away foreground. Now system is saying that you can put this material in this bin. Zero five thirteen zero eight. This is my destination bin. Hit enter. Then we hit save. See the message in the bottom. So we also created transfer order one zero 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 two four. Okay. After creating transfer order, we need to confirm the transfer order. So we go to LT twelve, and then we say confirm. So we confirm. In the confirm transfer order one zero zero two four has been confirmed. Now I can go back and check the stock whether I have a stock in material in the warehouse or not. I go to LS twenty four. I put my Warehouse. I put my material. I put my plant. One thousand, and we hit enter. Now here, I have a warehouse zero zero one. I have a material three zero seven three four. In this plant, in this sister location, I have one thousand pieces lying in this bin zero five thirteen eight. So this material has been kept in this warehouse in this bin. This is the bin identification, and warehouse is zero zero one. So now I have a material in the warehouse. Now because I have a material, so now I can sell it. Okay. So now we go to the next step, and uh, we want to go to sales now. So we go to sales order, create sales order VA01. So we go back. So we go to the sales order transaction code VA01, and then we hit enter. Hit enter. Enter my material customer, regular customer. In the material, I enter my material number. So material number is three zero seven three four. Enter the quantity. So whatever, ten pieces or whatever, and then we save it. So standard order one six three nine zero has been saved. So I go to display button, and now I created it. Sales order. Now, after creating sales order, we want to create a delivery. After that, I want to go to delivery. So, I, for that, I go to logistic execution. I go to outbound process delivery. The regular the way we can we create delivery multiple times the same way. We are creating a delivery. So in process of creating delivery, there is no difference. So we are creating delivery in exactly 
same fashion in same way okay so here we enter vl01 n we enter the shipping point we enter the date few days in the future we enter the order and we hit enter okay so this is the material we have so now this is the delivery so see here i would like to see you the picking status so here uh, it is a status a so what is the status picking status is a a basically tells me that material has not yet been picked now below that we have something called overall wm status warehouse management status it is blank look at carefully so warehouse status is blank because system doesn't know whether we going to use warehouse or not and that is because this store location field is blank here so if i enter my store location which is 00 and 88 and i hit enter now this become a so overall wm status become a that basically means wm transfer order liquid so a basically means because i put a store location 00 88 Double zero double eight store location is connected to a warehouse. This store location is a warehouse managed, and because this store location is warehouse managed, that is why system is asking us to enter and create a transfer order now. Because system understand and knows that this is the store location which is doubly managed. Okay, and this pick quantity field also blank become blank. You know, say zero. and it gray out that basically means you cannot directly enter here now and then we save it so see the message in the bottom delivery 8001735 has been saved okay and then i will make a note of the delivery this is the delivery document which we have created now i want to create a picking now i want to create a transfer order with reference to delivery this is state this document i want to do now this is a new transaction code we have not used it so what is the transaction code for that so for that we need to go to picking create transfer order single document lt03 so we go to lt03 LT03 is a new transaction code. LT03 is used to create a transfer order against delivery. LT03. So we go here. LT03. So this is LT03. Okay. This is LT03. Okay. Now here I put my store location, I put my plant, and I put my delivery document which we created 355, and then I hit enter. And then here I have a stock removal in the foreground. So. You click on it. Now, our system tells me that if you need this material, <clears throat> then thousand pieces is lying in this bin. Now, this is the bin which we just created and placed the material in. <clears throat> so, system tells me that I have a one thousand pieces, and that one thousand pieces is lying in this bin. And I want to remove ten, so I should left after that nine ninety. okay then we hit enter and then we hit save
See the message in the bottom. Transfer order one zero 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 two five created. After getting transfer order, I want to go back and verify the picking status. I want to go to the delivery, which is VL zero two N or three N. Does it make a difference? And here, overall WM status become B. I have a transfer order, but the transfer order is open, and the pick quantity of ten has increased here. So this is updated. This field is updated. Now we go to the next step and the last step, which is to confirm transfer order. So for that, we exit out, and we go to confirm transfer order. So here we have a confirm transfer order and LT12. LT12 is to confirm transfer order. So make a note of it. LT12. 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 I double click on it. We hit enter. In warehouse number zero zero one, this is the date. This is the transfer order number. This is the material in this plant, in this bin. I have a one thousand pieces. I want to remove ten, and I shall left nine ninety in this bin. We save it. So see the message in the bottom. Transfer order confirmed. So we are able to confirm the transfer order. After confirming transfer order, I want to again go back to the delivery and check what is going on. So last time, picking status become B. So it was A, then become B. Now I will now go verify. And check what happens. So now it becomes C. Picking fully picked. Warehouse transfer order confirmed. So based upon the transfer order creation confirmation, the status for the picking and status for warehouse management changes. So now we have a status here. C. So that is the whole end-to-end -end transaction with SAP WM and uh, SD integration. Okay. Now we go to the next step and next process that is called packing. So we have uh, picked the material. We have picked the material with the WM without WM. Now we are going to talk about how do we do the packing. Packing basically means you will put the material in a box, in a carton, and that is called handling unit. Handling unit. Now, what does that basically mean? So, let's say I have a 10 pieces. Okay. So, let us say I have a 10 pieces. And those 10 pieces I put in a box. Then those 10 pieces we put in the box, then 10 pieces in the box together is called a handling unit. You can pack into boxes and pallets and 
cartons and whatever packing unit you want to use. There is something called single level picking. Single level picking basically means I have a material A and I put into one box. Now this is an example of multiple levels. I put a material 1, material 2, material 3, material 4. Material 1 and 2 I put in the box 1. Material 3 and 4 I put in box 2. Then I put box 1 and box 2 on a carton. So this is an example of a multi-level packing. So you could have a single level packing or you can have a multi-level packing. So packing process configuration. So packing process is carried out on the delivery line item for every line item. Now, one more thing which you have to make a note here is item category. So take the pen and paper and make a note of this blood point. This is what an item category should be. And because of that item category, system will allow packing or no packing. Make a note of that blood point and I will explain that. Okay, so what is that basically means? Item category. So in item category level, picking and packing is being defined. Now let's understand this. So we go to configuration for that. So we go to SPRO, and then we go to SAP Reference IMG. And then I go to logistic education. Then I go to shipping. And here, first I go to picking. Define relevant item category. In item category, there is a relevant checkbox. So if I go back here, 10. So item category 10 has a checkbox. Right? So that basically means this item category you can pick. Without this item, with this checkbox, you cannot pick an item. This item makes this item category relevant for picking. Let's, I select some other item category. So this is a return. And return checkbox is not on. Why that is not on? Because material is coming in. So when material is coming into the warehouse, in fact, there is nothing to pick. Material is actually coming in. So RE in item category is set up not relevant for picking because you're not going to pick the material. In fact, you're going to do guru set. Okay. So that is what this basically means REN. So we saw that config at item category for picking. It's a small checkbox. Now, if you go back here, if you go to packing, here in the packing also, there is a packing control by item category. If you go here to the top down, and if I select my item category 10, so that basically means it's empty. Now, what does this empty basically mean? That basically means that item category can be packed. It's optional. It means if you want to pack, you can do it. 
A basically means the set of the A, that basically means it forces you. That is why all these deliveries and all that we did, we didn't do packing, because packing you can do if you want to, but it's not mandatory. Can be packed, it's optional, it's your choice. A basically means you have to do packing, without that system won't let you go. And B basically means that item is not relevant for picking, it's a pre-packed item, for example, you don't need to pack. So we also saw config at item category level for packing. Okay. For picking and also for packing. So that is what this basically means. item category for picking and also for packing. So those are the two configurations. Now here, last bullet point, make a note of that also. Packing material, the material mass record can be material type VERP, which is standard in SAP for packing. Now what is the meaning of that? So let's say I'm putting a material in the box. Now box is also a material. I'm putting a material in the carton, and that carton is also material. I'm putting a material in the pallet, the pallet is also material. I am shipping material in the drum, the drum is also material. So using the material type VRP, we can create a material for packaging item, for example, boxes and cartons and pallets and drums and all that. So that's why we have a material type VERP. Okay. So now we want to do packing exercise. So I'm going to do packing exercise. We can do packing exercise. In the packing exercise, so for a material, first thing is material. Assign big packing group. Then we're going to create sales order. Then we're going to create delivery. Then we're going to do picking process. And then we're gonna perform okay and the dock. These are our steps. This is MM02, this is VA01, this is VL02N. This is VL02N, VL02N. Okay, so these are the different transaction codes. Make a note of that. Okay. Make a note of this. Okay, so I had a material which we have been using, which we created yesterday. So we'll take the same material. So 30656. Okay. So I go to MM02. So I go to MM02. I put my material number, I hit enter. 
then I select my sales views, hit enter. We have plant 1000, sales organ 1000, distribution channel 10, and then we hit enter. And then we hit enter. Now here, in the material, we should have this field. This is called packaging group material. We already have a K010. Now what is a K010 basically means? You have a different option. You can create more options. So K010 means you can put in the carton metal. K20 means you have a carton bag. You can put this in pallet. You can put in this whatever, you know, cylinder, whatever, junk, lot of things. Is put. So what kind of box, what kind of carton, what kind of uh, packaging unit you want to do, this should be assigned. So we have here K010, which basically means this material can be packed in the carton middle. Okay. So we have that. And after that, we want to create a sales order. So you want to create a sales order, then we hit enter. We enter the ship to party. We enter the material, we enter the quantity. And then we save it. Sales order has been created. After that, we created delivery. So we go to delivery. Hit enter. So here we have a delivery document. Then I go to picking tab and I put a pick quantity. So picking is done is a picking at the store location level. Now I want to do packing. So I select this item, edit and pack. So here it is edit pack. And then I this comes to the processing handling unit for the urban deliveries. I select this item and there's a pack button and I say hit pack. Do you want to search for a lot packaging material? Say yes. So here, this is that material type we are people talk about. So what kind of a material you want to put a box and carton, wire basket, you know, all that different items you have. You have a pallet. What do you want? There's so much stuff and you can choose that you want. You select. The system tells me that I can only put uh, six into it, four are left, okay. I select. Now, entire quantity has been packed. In this, I put six pieces, and another one I put four pieces. And then we set. Delivery set. Now, if I go back and check, if I go to the schedule, um, if I go back and check document flow, so this is what we have. So we create a sales order. Let me clear on our delivery. We can picking request, sending it to one, sending it to two. Why two? Because we pack in two units. Okay. So that is how we can do packing. So now um, stopping class, and we'll talk next week. Okay. Thank you. Thank you guys. Talk to you next week.